Right, guys, I'm going to begin by asking about working with Taika. I mean, I've interviewed him a couple of times, and he's just one of those people who just lights up a room. It must have been so... Because, I mean, some of the material here is quite heavy, but having him around on the set all the time must have been a nice uh, light relief for you guys. Yeah, exactly what you said, yeah. basically. Yeah, he was super welcoming, and, and you got the... When you sit on mm. set, you got the feeling that he knew what he wanted. He had a blueprint for the day, but he... um. Mm was you know allowed for a lot of experimentation yeah. and, and you felt you had a lot of freedom mm. uh, he yeah. said something as well he said you had a alfie said it. Uh, he said you had a he gave you a lot of trust he really yeah. trusted everyone to kind of explore with the character yeah. um and be able to see the true light and meaning and depth of the story <laughs> uh, no but yeah no he did he does light up the room and he's got a very unique humor and mm. he's got a unique character and it's it's so nice to see him all the time. Yeah. Did he make you laugh a bit, lot though? Because it was a good message, and obviously sometimes you've got to be quite serious. There are times when oh he no, was... he paid us to laugh. Oh. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, no, because we, he was we, we, we literally, all the yeah, time. we laughed yeah. all the time. The amount of times he improvised, and you just see me shaking from laughter, <laughs> it's mad. I mean, it's a great cast. I mean, obviously you've got the likes of Alfie, and then there's uh, there's Sam, and there's uh, Scarlett. I mean, did you do you ever get starstruck, or is it one of those things where you have to, when you're on set, are you quite does the professionalism kick in, or is there are there, are there times when you still pinch yourself? <laughs> definitely, definitely got starstruck. I mean, mm, you know, why wouldn't you? But um, also the, you know Scarlett and 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 Sam mm. and Alfie and Stephen Welcome. and Rebel and everybody, they were so welcoming, and they they you really felt like you were on a level playing field. They didn't. It didn't feel like they were above you or anything, no. but they um, yeah. they were just there, you um, and you were acting together and, and having a good time. And Scarlett's also a mother, so... <coughs> and she was, she was also a child actor, actress, sorry. Yeah. And so she kind of knew how it felt, in a way, to kind of be new in this industry. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, it, yeah, I'm, I guess, I mean, the amount of times they'd be, like, practising, I'd be like... <laughs> Yeah, no, I was exactly like that. Just like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hi. Did you guys have imaginary friends when you were younger? Or was it? I, I did. I used <clears> to. <throat> I read these books called like Caroline or Coraline. It wasn't Coraline, oh, Cor but there was a character in it called Mr. Monroe, and he was this really hairy, mini, really cute it's monster disgusting. guy. It sounds terrible, but he was really cute. <laughs> And I, yeah, he used to be my mom. Oh, it's Anakin. Friend. I had like a sort of crush on Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> and I, I might have said the stuff, he was like my uncle or something. Yeah. And like Yoda was like my cousin or something. And me and Yoda would train together. Like, hey Yoda, you wanna come train? Yeah, and I was like, four, but like, yeah. I had like all the sets. I was, yeah, I was like, mom, I want this one. He's like, you just got one yourself. But I want this one, mom. Yeah. And then I got. <laughs> Like a Death Star for Christmas, I'm like, oh my god, the Death Star, Mom! Sorry. Because, <laughs> anyway. I mean, obviously it's, it's a real satire, but it's, it's touching quite delicate ground. I mean, it's one of those films that it's, it's, for me, it works perfectly, but tonally it is a challenge to get it right. I was just wondering about um, being involved in, in this film, because it does, it is posing very positive messages. You must be so proud to be part of a movie that is, is hopefully will be shown to sort of younger audiences and really and preach the kind of, the, the notion of, of just, I don't know, everyone sort of loving each other. And, and, yeah, yeah, I think what... To kill hate. Yeah, what, what really attracted me to, to Jojo Rabbit when I first read it was that it was through the eyes of a 10-year-old of a, of a Nazi, aspiring, an aspiring Nazi boy. Um, and you're seeing things in a completely different way. You're seeing things through innocent eyes and through a different lens and you get a, a different perspective, a different point of view, which is so important for, you know, anybody to see things in different ways and to be able to understand the world around them and yeah. Do you find that your generation now is more uh, becoming more sort of politically um, uh, sort of mm. conscious? Because I mean, when I was your ages, I, um, I was, didn't really pay much attention to sort of politics. But I feel now, obviously, with like people like Greta Thunberg but, and stuff like that, it feels yeah. like the younger people of yeah. today are actually becoming more conscious about cl climate. Mm, yeah. But yeah. some, but still, some of them are like because I don't know, kids are. They're very, they've got a very vulnerable mind and they take in, <clears throat> they can take, they take in quite a lot, but mm. <clears throat> I also feel like, that like, I don't know, they're also, I mean, I feel like this is going to be important, be this song's going to be important because a lot of grown-ups and adults are kind of influencing hate a bit and I feel like, <clears throat> I don't know, it's just going into the minds of 
the next generation. Yeah, uh, I think. And, and these, you know, I watched a video today actually comparing a speech between Greta Thunberg and a girl, a young girl from 30 years ago who was saying the same things as Greta Thun Thunberg saying, you know, you guys, you, we need to open our eyes and see that we're not treating this world how it should be treated and we're really taking advantage of it. Um, mm. And I think with social media and technology, it's just more available in it because of, you know, because, you know, Instagram or YouTube or whatever, it's just easier to see and it's easier, the, it's easier for the message to be spread. So we've been, people have been saying these things about climate change for years, but the, you know, technology wasn't mm. as developed years ago as, yeah. as, it, as it is now. <coughs> so, so yeah. like something like um, Prince Harry or something <coughs> was recycling like 40 years before everyone else did or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers, thank you so much. Thanks, thank Cheers, you. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.